Hey everybody, welcome back to my series of going through the id vault. Today is part four. We are going over the pickups. Now, if you haven't seen parts one, two, or three, I highly suggest that you go back and check those out, especially part one where I really explain what this series is all about. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but if you want a little bit more background, please go check that out. Today, we're checking out the pickups. So we have the grapple here. So this is the new model that was created for the remaster. And here's the previous model. So definitely a ton of difference here, especially in the texturing. You know, surprisingly, the model silhouette remains mostly the same on all of these. They really just add a lot of polygons to make things a little bit rounder. The silhouette stays the same. There's an example right there of the silhouette staying the same on this blaster. But the texture fidelity is obviously increased significantly. So is the modeling. I mean, these here have definitely been modeled to give it a little bit more depth. Chain Fist. Now, again, this was the DLC weapon, the Chain Fist. Here's the original model. Shotgun. The original versus where we're at now. The super shotgun. Now these are pickups. So these are items that you get in the game as you're running through the levels. And so they're often sitting there, you know, in some games they spin in a circle and you pick them up. And the textures of these models they look a lot less detailed from when the weapon's actually in your hands. And I think that's because, you know, when it's up close and personal in your hands, you're going to have more detail because you see everything, you know, significantly more where when it's a pickup, you're just quickly running over it. And that's that. And so in the early days of Quake and Quake 2, when size was much more of a factor. You had to put everything on a CD. Uh, that was the ETF rifle, chain gun. You, had, you put everything on a CD, and you had to save where you could. So on these pickups, a lot of these textures would be significantly more lower resolution than the pickup items the player would actually see as a model in their hands. So grenades. So you know, you'll see right here the big fidelity change on the silhouette. You go from a more angular polygonal look to a much more rounded look. And then of course the texture stays close to the same on this one. There's the trap. Look at the different lighting on this one. Tesla. Grenade launcher. I always really like this design. For whatever reason, this one, the Quake 2 grenade launcher, is one of my favorite grenade launchers. Just so simplistic and cool. Just a tube with a giant thing of grenades. It just shoots them out. <laughs> Prox launcher, which is basically the grenade launcher with a different skin on it. But yeah, it's interesting. These textures, especially on the old models, are not nearly as nice as the textures on the old models of the ones that are in your player's hand. But they're pretty nice for the pickups in the remaster, definitely. So a lot of fidelity added to this rocket launcher. You know, a huge bit of quality of life improvement that I'm seeing in these textures is just the, the painted on highlights and lowlights. You know, you can really get a lot more pixels with the with the technology today than you could back then. So you have the ability to just draw on a lot more detail, even when you're still going over a low poly model with a lower resolution texture. You could still get a lot more bang for your buck. Hyper Blaster is such a great weapon. So Ion Ripper, this is like a Beyblade type gun. Actually, the model from 
Quake 2 expansion pack. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty good. It looks like they changed the silhouette a little bit on this curve here. So definitely a little bit different here on this design. Plasma Beam. This is basically like the lightning gun. And the view model in your hands, you only see this top part. Which is too bad because this is so much more interesting. You have this big circular area in the middle. You know, this is like a stop sign. And then we go to the fidelity now, we get a straight up circle. You know, you got this bar in the middle, so you, you hold it here and then you hold it there in the middle. Very cool. It's a great gun. I just wish they would have shown more in the view model. The railgun, my personal favorite weapon in basically all of FPS video games. So yeah, a lot of polygon, fidelity added, a lot more circular shapes here. More painted on details, especially inside here. A lot of really great painted on highlights here on the model. This little viewfinder that we're in doesn't really add lighting, and you can tell because this right here, you can tell it's painted on because if we were to shift it up, you know, you wouldn't see the lighting on top, so it would shift to somewhere else. So that's definitely painted on lighting. Phalanx. Oh yeah, they definitely really improved that one a lot. Made a lot chunkier. Very cool. BFG. This one didn't change a whole heck of a lot. Silhouette's very similar. Again, they just added rounded polygonal detail. Alright, the Disruptor. It's interesting, they actually changed the color of that there a little bit. It's more purpley. Cool. Okay, now the ammo boxes. We'll go through these quick. So that was bullets, shells. It's interesting, shells still look pretty low res. A little bit inconsistent in the shells, and honestly in the cells too, in my opinion, compared to the weapons. The weapons clearly have a little bit more, probably bigger textures than these, bigger resolution textures, so they have a little bit more detail to them. The rockets look good. Rockets look really good. They added a little bit of geometry here to kind of give that an indentation. Slugs. Mag slug. Not quite sure what the mag slug's for. Rounds. Flechettes. I think these are DLC weapons. This is for the ETF rifle. Procs. Oh, so that's interesting. So they went from like these canister look to way more of a mine or grenade style projectile here where you can actually see the details. So that's pretty cool. It's interesting that they did that for this one, but some of the other ones they did not. In my opinion, with the rockets, they probably should have done something like that. Stim pack. First aid. Interesting, first state still relatively stays almost the same. Med kit. Adrenaline. Mega health. Armor shard. A lot of these look very similar. They're just ever so slightly painted differently armor jacket so this is new versus old new old new old body armor new old power power screen Power shield. The AM bomb. This one's got an animation to it. 
Here's the old one. New. Old. The outside has pretty much stayed the same, they just changed the inside a little bit. Claw damage. New. Old. It's actually kind of interesting to me that they didn't change this to be significantly more rounded. It still is pretty angular. Now here's the original, which is significantly more angular. But even with the new, you think that they would add a lot more fidelity to this pickup. Because they have on all the other stuff, all the weapons, all right, dual fire damage. Same story here. You'd think they would just add a little bit more to make it more rounded. Vulnerability. Old. New. Just made the skull more rounded. Silencer. I'm not changed on that one. Rebreather. Just kind of streamlined the um, tube section of it. Environmental suit. Bandolier. Ammo pack. I miss having ammo packs drop in multiplayer from Quake. Somebody needs to make a mod to drop ammo packs in Quake 2. IR goggles. Jeez, it almost looks like nothing's changed on these. Maybe a little bit more detail on this top part of the model. Or on the uh, texture, excuse me. Double damage. Same model as the quad, just a different texture. Doppelganger. Not quite sure what the doppelganger is. I haven't used it. Yeah, that's better textures. Keep those actually rounded. Data CD. A little bit more squared off on some of these than I think it should be. I think they could have added one more polygon to make it just a little bit rounder. Power cube. The texture doesn't look nearly as high res on some of the others. There is definitely some con inconsistencies with some of the texturing f fidelity on some of these. Pyramid key. Data spinner. <clears throat> you know, a lot of these power ups that you only see a couple times and you don't see them for very long. So, you know, spending a lot of time on them doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So security key, I believe. Blue key. Blue key is basically the exact same. Same texture. Doesn't look like they did much of anything. I'm assuming red key will be the same. Yep. Green key. Oh, green key's lighting changed significantly. Commander's head. Not quite sure what the commander's head power up is. You know, I haven't played through the Quake 2 campaign yet since it's been relaunched, and uh, I gotta go play through a lot of this stuff. Here's the airstrike marker. And the red flag. So for capture the flag. So the old model had this like weird flickery stuff to it and it looks like that new model is just a lot more consistent very cool and the blue flag is basically going to be the same thing old model new model all right everybody there you have it those are all the pickups in the id vault now there wasn't anything to read on this so it was a little bit of a quicker video in the next video part five we will be going over the enemies and there is more to read in that so tune into that for a little bit more information however again i still think that this is really neat to look at even if there's nothing to read about it's just kind of fun to toggle the textures back and forth so i hope this video was fun for you as well i really enjoyed it so let me know in the comments below if you're having a good time going through the id vault i really appreciate you tuning in. As always, I'm Salty Octopus, and I will see you next time.